Hey friends, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. So today's video is a two-parter, a two-dayer, which I suppose most of them are now. Because <laughs> I, I don't get much done in a day, usually. Um, but I hope this video brings you some motivation, some comfort, whatever it is that you're needing. If you need a cleaning buddy, I hope that this will be of service to you. <laughs> we could all use a cleaning buddy and accountability partner every now and then. So I hope that you will either sit back, relax, and watch me do some cleaning or do some cleaning with me. We're going to do dishes. Um, we're going to kind of deep clean my vacuum, which I have not done <laughs> since we've moved in into this house. I think I've only actually done it one other time. Yeah, I've had it since 2019. So that's yeah, uh, <laughs> it needed it, but it honestly it could have been a lot worse. So I love my vacuum so, so much. Um, if you are interested, I did put the newest version of it um, in my Amazon storefront. So check that out. It's really awesome. Um, side note, this <laughs> the way that I filmed the dishwasher was, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to clean the vacuum, which needed it. And it feels good now that it's clean. <laughs> I've just been putting it off for so long. Um, but yeah, we're going to do dishes, clean the vacuum, fold some laundry, and clean the stove top. I know. It was a lot for me, you know. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it.
Okay, so I need to brag a little bit about this vacuum. And just a heads up, I'm not sponsored, anything like that. Um, but first I lied earlier. It was 2020 when I bought it because I was, I remember because I was pregnant. Um, but yeah, I'm not sponsored, anything like that. This vacuum that I have is the um, Tinco A11 Master, but when I look it up on Amazon, like through my orders, um, it says it's currently unavailable and it's said that for a while. So that's why I put the newest version in my cart, but I love it. So as you can see, it's it's so, so nice, especially when I have like those big kind of, I guess you could say average vacuums, like the kind of bulkier ones, hair builds up on the rollers and I don't clean it. Let's be real. Come on. <laughs> but this is so easy and it came with a little tool that I'm using. It's got a brush on one end and like a little razor on the other end to cut through the hair. I just, guys, I just love it so much. You would think that I would clean it more often <laughs> because it's so easy, but it's, what's nice about it too is even though I hardly ever clean the rollers, it, it doesn't get mucked up like my older vacuum would. And I don't even remember what kind of vacuum that was, um, but it was loud. And this one's way quieter. It's cordless. It's just amazing. Again, not sponsored. <laughs> I just love this thing so dang much. Um, but yeah, it's it's so much easier. And I just love it. So it's made my life a lot easier. So if I could help somebody else's life become a little easier, but if you have something that you absolutely love, like a vacuum or a mop, leave it in the comments. We could all use recommendations. Um, I am going to be ordering a steam mop very, very soon from Amazon and I'm so excited. Yeah, I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys. Um, I don't know what attachments come with like the newer versions, but this one came with like a whole bag full of attachments that like I haven't even used all of them. <laughs> Mostly because I don't clean a lot, but you know, that's besides the point. But yeah, I love this thing. And like I said, if I could help somebody, their life may, you know, get a little bit easier I would love that. <laughs>
guys, I have been doing nightly laundry folding for about a week now. And I don't know why, but it's sticking with me really well. <laughs> so normally I would fold um, on Oliver's nap. And then when Tim gets home, a lot of times, you know, we, I don't really do anything, especially, you know, nighttime. I don't know why there's like a mental block there for me. It, it was like that when I worked a full-time job. It's been like that being a stay-at-home mom. I don't know. My, my brain gets tired. My body gets tired. You know, that's probably what it is. So I've hardly ever done much of anything like after work. Um, but I don't know if it's just a random burst of energy that I've been having, but like I said, it's been about a week and it's like nightly, but I just leave Oliver with Tim and, you know, after we eat dinner, I grab, you know, my, my water or whatever I'm drinking and I go upstairs, I get into my pajamas, that's that's a big part of my ritual here <laughs> because I love my jammies and I'm nice and comfortable. I usually, that is the time where I make our bed because I don't know, I've said it before and I don't know what it is, but making my bed and then folding, it just makes it so much easier. And I mean, maybe it's just because the blanket's not in the way, but it just, I feel more motivated then. But I'll make the bed I will move whatever laundry is in the wash to the dryer, and then whatever was in the dryer, I bring it into the bedroom, I turn on the TV, and I fold. So I have mentioned it, I mentioned it in one previous video, when I would fold during Oliver's naps, I would always feel um, like on a time crunch. And so I was always seeing these these other videos of, you know, hey, here's an awesome way to pass the time if you, if you don't like folding laundry is, is watch one of your favorite shows. And I tried and it would always kind of slow me up, slow me down, <laughs> um, because I was trying to hurry up and do that and then other things while he was napping. So having the time, because I know he's happy and he's being well cared for and played with downstairs. His belly's full from dinner and it's not quite bedtime yet. Just being able to go upstairs and turn on the TV. I've been watching a lot of decorate with me videos here on YouTube um, because that's like a guilty pleasure of mine, but I may even start like a TV series I have not watched a TV series since like before Oliver was born. So yeah, th this is really, really working for me. So if you have children and you know, this is something that you could potentially do, I say do it. I, I say go for it. This has been awesome for me. And like I said, it's been like a week, so I'm hoping that this momentum stays and I continue to enjoy it. It's like my time away. <laughs> so, yeah. If I'm being honest, I probably wouldn't have cleaned the stovetop, but two of our burners aren't working. Um, so 
I figured I would give it a really good clean and I don't I don't know the first thing about burners and stuff like that so I was like let me just take this as much apart as I can get it and clean it and see if that does anything well it didn't <laughs> um, it's the the two that the two left ones um, which kind of sucks because the front left one is like my most used one and it it just came out of nowhere Tim tried taking it apart um, even further and it's I don't know I don't know they're not working I can light them with a lighter <laughs> and that's what I've been doing <laughs> because it's you know it's broken but it's not completely broken you know so I tried what I could do <laughs> and yeah I mean it needed cleaning but I mean I'm being honest with you I, I probably wouldn't have cleaned it <laughs> if it didn't if it wasn't broken um, but I'm glad that I did and what's cool so if you see the salt and pepper shakers that we have those are actually Tim's grandpa's he was a salt and pepper shaker collector and the collection that he had built over the years is just it's really impressive it's really really cool too um when he unfortunately passed away december of 2019 tim was able to go over and just kind of grab a couple things out of the collection and those are what he chose and they've just been on the back of our oven ever since at the old house and then when we moved in here i made sure to put them back there and i just think they're so cool really the the collection that he had built is just it really is mind-blowing but yeah it's just a cool little thing you know but anyways this finishes up the video just a couple more minutes um so i'm just gonna <laughs> say goodbye now because i'm rambling i'm rambling in this video but that's okay if you listen you listen if you don't you don't it doesn't hurt me none um but i really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me i really do hope that this helps somebody you know either clean a dish or just makes you feel seen you know i'm, I'm always going to say i'm not going to be a pinterest worthy house uh, I'm, I'm not going to have houses like a lot of these youtubers have although they're fun to watch but that's just never going to be me so i love you guys so so much i really really appreciate you and thank you so much for hanging out watching listening to my rambles it means a lot. <laughs> it, it means a lot. So, thanks.